Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Coming at you with 2020-2021 Panini Donruss Optic Basketball. Back on the menu. This is pick your team number 15. Um, a lot of people pick their teams. And the remaining teams we pulled for a, uh, for a filler. So if you see a little rooftop next to your name, that means you won that spot, that you won that team in the filler. So here it is on Monday the 18th for pick your team 15. Thanks everyone for getting in, for making this happen. I appreciate it. And now it's a fresh case. The second half of the case in the store. Just loaded it up. So if you missed out on picking your team straight up the first time, don't miss out the second time. All right, so we've got six boxes on the left side and six boxes on the right side. We're gonna select a die. We'll select that one right there. And we'll go one, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right side. Uh-oh. Dice almost rolled off the table right there. It's two. Left side. So this side, we will save for next time. So we'll put some X's right along the uh, QR code here. And we'll know that they're from the same case. I think this is the only case we have anyway, so I don't think it's gonna get mixed up with anything, but there you go. We'll save this for next time. All right, one autograph and 20 inserts or prism parallels per box on average. We're looking for the ultra rare photon prisms. That's what we're looking for. A lot of fun stuff here. So thanks everybody for the fill. Good luck. Basketball right around the corner too. Regular season right around the corner. So I'm looking forward to that. Is it, no wait, is it this week? Or is it next week? Yeah, it's just too, too, many, uh, too many things going on sports-wise. No, I think regular season starts tomorrow, right? Basketball used to start later. I think a few years ago they moved up the, the hoops calendar. It used to be later in October. I think they moved it up a couple of weeks. So tomorrow, Brooklyn at Milwaukee, Golden State at Los Angeles, both TNT games. That should be pretty exciting. Then a big slate of games on Wednesday with a couple of ESPN games, Boston at New York Knicks, Denver at Phoenix. So a lot happening tomorrow. What teams are, what NBA teams are everyone, uh, are you a fan of and what, what are you hoping happens with your team this season? I know everyone wants to win a championship, but realistically, what are they, I mean, I think for teams like Milwaukee, Golden State, Brooklyn, Los Angeles, four teams playing tomorrow, I think, I think their aspirations are championship aspirations. I'm looking forward to like the, uh, the sort of, Younger teams, you know, stuff that's hashtag good for the hobby, right? You know, Bulls could be that team. Grizzlies could be that team. You know, you want to see, like, John Moran and Luka Doncic continuing what, they, what, they, what they've been doing. Zion to continue what he's been doing. All right. First box, good luck. There's Brooke Lopez. Patrick Williams, this could be a guy for the Bulls. There's LeBron James, 15 out of 99. All-star insert. So we're just going to sleeve these up for now. Our shipping team will uh, will top load those before they're sorted out. I think, pretty sure all cards ship, so. Actually, it doesn't say. All, all cards will ship. 
Boyan Bogdanovich, 11 out of 99. That'll be for the Jazz, Andrew. And speaking of Zion Williams, and there he is, 40 out of 199. Second year Zion going to Chad Daw and the Pelicans. In years past, we've seen some of the top rookies' second year cards do pretty well in the secondary market. Yeah, Gilo, what's up going on, man? Yeah, we're entering... That's sports equinox. Yeah, we may have like baseball, football, and basketball, and hockey all in the same day. <laughs> Could be pretty crazy. Carl's a Atlanta Hawks fan. How are we feeling about the what? What did, what did the Hawks do in the off season? Did, did they? What kind of pieces did they add? What kind of did they add some pieces through the draft, free agency? They had a really good run last year. Trey Young's pretty exciting. There's a Vita Zubac signature series auto going to Tyler and the Clippers. Denny Avija, that guy could be good. There's Devin Vassell, rated rookie hollow. Carl saying they kept everyone and then added some pieces in the draft. Jones found Chunis, 18 out of 149. There's Sean Morant right there. Lights out, hollow. Yeah, Cox, Cox could make some noise. All right. First box in the books. Next box. Remember, the second half of this case is in the store right now. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com if you want to get your teams. We can run this back tonight. Gilo wishes KC had an NBA team. Well, you know, um, Commissioner Adam Silver has said that uh, has said that I think previously he has pretty much shot down the idea of, of expanding to 32 teams. But I think in more in more recent interviews, I think it's sounding like he's more open to um, adding to adding two more teams. Kansas City used to have a an ABA team, right? I think the I think they might have been the old Kings. Jimmy's saying KC doesn't get a team until Seattle does. I think Seattle's positioning themselves pretty well for that expansion, Jimmy. So I'm sure the... I mean, the well, the Kraken... Seattle Kraken do play in the, the old arena, right? I think it's been remodeled since, but... Where could the two teams be? Seattle, yeah, Seattle for sure. Right, and there's been a lot of talk about Las Vegas getting one. I think that's what NBA wants to do. They want to, they want to put a team in Vegas and have a presence there. Now that hockey has kind of paved, has kind of opened the door there, now the Raiders are there. I think the NBA wants to be next. There's Luka Doncic, 23 out of 49. Nice Dominators, Elite Dominators Blue. Ooh, and a Lamello here. The Rookies insert for Charlotte. That's going to go to Sean Maddock. Got the Hornets straight up. Oh, so Jimmy's saying the city, Seattle, did retain the rights to all the Sonics, the Sonics name and the history. So they'll be the Sonics name again. So they, do they take the records away from OKC? Is that how it'll work? If the uh, and Luca goes to Dallas, that'll be for Matt. Is that how it'll work if the Sonics come back? 
because currently the Oklahoma City Thunder hold all the the old records. Lime Green, Montrezarell, 24 out of 149 for the Lakers. That'll go to Matt Lieber. And we got Isaiah Stewart Hollow. Detroit could be a really interesting team to watch this year. They got a lot of youngsters on that team. And if they all kind of blossom around the same time, that could be a fun team to watch. Daniel House Jr., 78 out of 99. For Houston, that's going to be for Oliver. So Jimmy thinks so. I, I want to say I heard that heard the same thing, Jimmy. And nice, LaMelo Ball, rated rookie, just base. It's still nice. Yeah, that I think so. I think there was an agreement when Oklahoma City moved that if Seattle ever got a team back, that they would they would take the history of the of Seattle back to that city, which which makes sense, I think. Saban Lee, rated rookie hollow. Landry Shamit for Brooklyn, fifty three out of fifty nine. That'll be for Brooklyn. That's going to go to Carl. And we got Xavier Tillman, rookie auto for Memphis. Nice one for the Grizz. That'll be for Robert with the Grizzlies. Grizzlies could be fun too. John Morant with another year of experience under his belt. Jaron Jackson Jr. just got paid by Memphis. They locked him up. Xavier Tillman, pretty solid. Desmond Bain on that team. You know, could be a fun team to watch. LeBron James and his future teammate Russell Westbrook. It's almost as if if Panini knew that this was, was going to happen. Did they predict that? This Cassius Stanley, 70 out of 199 for the Pacers, Jimmy Connell. And is Joel Embiid, elite dominator, is he going to be playing with Ben Simmons or not? Four boxes to go. Yeah, so Jimmy's saying the biggest problem near Key Arena is going to be the parking. They've remodeled it so they can handle the hockey and prepare for basketball. And, but they've added so many apartments and condos in the area, it's going to be a nightmare, Jimmy says. Interesting. Um, they should figure that out. Get, get that figured out, Seattle. So what's the... Jimmy, I know you're from up. You're you're up in that area, the Pacific Northwest. What is the de like? Has there been talks? Has there been talks with the league? Like, what's local news saying about that? Are city officials actively, you know, are city officials actively working on that? Are they telling citizens, hey, we're working on this? Like, we're we're talking to the NBA every season, asking what are your plans for expansion? We want in. Yeah, Chad's up there too. He was like, it was a nightmare before the crack. And it was, Jimmy's saying it was a nightmare 10 years ago, even before they moved. Can't imagine what it's like now. But hey, get the, get the team back. Worry about the parking later. Gotcha. Adam Silver brought up the idea of expansion like a year ago. Yeah, that's what kicked off this conversation. But nothing since. So they're just waiting for the arena to see how it goes. Got it. Just taking a quick look at the list of teams here in the standings. But, I mean, there's got to be... I wonder if there's going to be teams that are going to be moving around. 
Do you think there'll be expansions and moves, or do you think they'll just add moves? Or add expansion teams? There's Peyton Pritchard. I know some Celtics fans are eager to see what he does this season. Larry with the Celtics. Could have some upside there. We've got Obi Toppin. Nice. 65 out of 149. He's got a nice ceiling, too. That's going to be for the Knicks. Eric with the Knicks. Looked like he was ahead of schedule. Or that team was ahead of schedule. He could be a big part of their evolution this year. And we got a pink velocity, Jameis Ramsey, 57 out of 79 for Sacramento. Robert with the Kings. We got Otto Porter Jr. to 199 for the Bulls. Oh, and there's an Anthony Edwards. Nice. Base rated rookie. It's a start though. Brian Frank with the Timberwolves. And your autograph is JJ. Oh, no. It was flipped around. That totally got me. We got a Jared Allen, 14 out of 39. Black Velocity, Cavs, Brian Frank with Cleveland. And there's Cassius Stanley, rated rookie autograph, blue. And that is, that's for Jimmy and the Pacers. 22 out of 49, nice low number on that. Now we're rooting for Cassius Stanley. Hopefully he blows up this season. And lights out Zach Levine. Halfway through this half case break. I suppose they could just, uh, I know that, that well, got me too, Chad. I got fooled by that JJ Redick as well. So I wonder what, you know what? Here's what they would do. The Timberwolves and the Grizzlies are still in the Western Conference. So I, I guess if you expanded to two teams, Seattle and Vegas, they would be in the Western Conference, and they would probably move Minnesota and Memphis. They would move Minnesota and Memphis to the Eastern Conference to balance out the, uh, the conferences, right? Yeah, that's that's my guess. Oh, did that Reddick insert flip while I was on? While I was oh okay, that might that might have flipped while I was putting cards down. It's possible. Next box, good luck. Second half in the store. There's James Wiseman, the rookies. And that's for Sean Maddock and the Warriors. Let's see if we can find some parallels for him too. Duncan Robinson for the Heat. Lime Green, 15 out of 149. Jimmy Connell.
Darius Garland for Cleveland. That'll be for Brian. 54 out of 199. Rated rookie Tyrell Terry Hollow for Matt in Dallas. Jarrett Culver, pink. Velocity, 32 out of 79 for Minnesota. Brian. James Wiseman, rated rookie, base. And Bam out of bio, 121 out of 199. That'll be for Miami, Jimmy. Base James Wiseman going to Sean. Zeke Naji, it's your rated rookie auto for Denver. Showed some moments. Steve Kim with that one. Let's hope he keeps it up. We got Buddy Heald reigning threes to 99 for the Kings. Robert. Yeah, LeBron's all right, Gilo. <laughs> My outlook on the Lakers, they got to stay healthy. Anthony Davis has to stay healthy. Uh, I think he's the main key, and I think it, everything kind of revolves around him and that they're an old team. They've got to they've got to they've got to just stay healthy. If they can stay healthy, I think they'll, I think they'll be really solid. But they got to stay healthy, and it's pretty much a brand new team. So I think the first I think the first month or so of the season, maybe two months, I think will be a little, you know, there'll be some good games, there'll be some bad games as as the coach is figuring out, like, new rotations. Wow, who just hit J.D. Martinez just hit a home run. Um, I think as they figure out rotations, they figure out, you know, how to play some team defense, et cetera, et cetera. Once they kind of get all that, it might take a couple months because they just completely almost... They completely revamped that team. You know, so it'll take a minute or two, but I, I think I think by the end of the season, if everybody's healthy, they'll they'll be in contention for an NBA title. Yeah, I think I think Westbrook's gonna be fine. Westbrook's pretty talented. I think I think he could he could fit on a, he could fit on any team. I think he's pretty happy to be to be back home playing with LeBron, playing with uh, probably one of the best teams he's been on, surrounding him in a long time. I think he's got to be happy about that. There's been a couple injuries. I think they've been counting on Trevor Ariza to play. He's a little banged up. Another guy that's banged up. But they've, they've tried to get some youngsters on that team too, try to balance it out. I'm looking forward to seeing what Kendrick Nunn does with the Lakers. I think they picked up Avery Bradley off of waivers after the Warriors, I think, uh, released him. So there's Avery Bradley is, is back with the Lakers, and he's still got some, some gas left in the tank. He's pretty solid. Yeah, me too. I wish that core of... Harden, Westbrook, and Durant would have worked out. I wish they were able to make that work. It just, just didn't happen, but that would have been cool to see. Yeah, Lakers have the, the top uh, three of the top five players in the NBA. Yeah, on, you know, but LeBron's great. He's, I mean, we got to admit that he's, father time is undefeated. Time will catch up, but that's why I'm saying the big, the big key will be Anthony Davis being, being healthy. And if he can do that, then it'll it'll all revolve around him. I mean, Anthony Davis could be MVP and win Defensive Player of the Year. But the health has been the issue. Nice Lamelo Ball, the rookies hollow. That's pretty nice. That goes to Sean, who picked up the Hornets straight up. 
the hollow parallels definitely make a make a difference between the regular ones and the base versions. I'm gonna miss this guy though, Alex Caruso. That's the '79. This is still Lakers edition for Matt. But yeah, I, th I think there's going to be some growing pains, though, for the Lakers. I think they just have to figure out how to play together as a team. But once they figure that out, hey, there's Kevin Durant, and that's the Photon short print. That'll be for Carl and the Brooklyn Nets. And that is, they, they call it the ultra-rare Photon Prisms. Yeah, these are, these are not very common at all. Maybe one or two per case. Sometimes none, but generally one or two per case. There's uh, Bogdan Bogdanovich, 45 out of 149 for Atlanta. That goes to Carlos and the Hawks. And a Devin Dotson. Right on the dot. Chicago Bulls, Robert with the Bulls, won that spot in the filler. Oh, I love your optimism, Chris, but but I, I, I can understand that, that, a, that a team like that is just going to need some time to gel together. Hey, if, if it gels together faster, then, you know, Hollow Onyeka Kongu goes to Carlos. Hey, if that team gels together more quickly, then, then I'm not going to complain about that. But, but I think there's going to be some games where they just look unstoppable. I think there's just going to be some games where they just kind of Kind of not look good. I think um, that's just how the Lakers play sometimes. But let's see what the what's the uh, so the win totals the highest win totals in the NBA according to VegasInsider.com. Brooklyn Nets fifty six and a half wins, Bucks fifty four and a half wins. Utah Jazz 52 and a half wins, Lakers 52 and a half wins, Phoenix Suns 51 and a half wins. I mean that sounds about that sounds about right. I mean, again, I'm just Anthony Davis has not demonstrated in his career just the health that he needs to demonstrate when especially when he's most needed. I don't know how much of it's his fault. I don't know how much of it's just genetics and his body. But you think they break the record for the most wins by a team this season? All right, now you're just pulling my leg, Chris Lambros. Come on. And that's 70 some odd wins. I mean, that's 20 over the 20 over the win total. Put a hundred bucks on it, Chris Lambro. Show, show me the show me the ticket. Show me the ticket. I'll be I'll be I'll be happy if that happens. Well, put a futures play on it, Chris. Show me the ticket, and we'll 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 watch that all season long. Unfortunately, basketball is not not really played on played on paper. On paper, yeah, on paper, the Lakers look amazing. But it's not. I mean, they're probably gonna they're they're probably gonna load manage a lot of you know they're probably gonna load manage LeBron a lot. I think they're just gonna be playing for the playoffs. I think they'll settle for like the top half of the West. You know what I mean? I don't think they're gunning for number one. Really, if they end up with a three seed, I think they'll be happy or something like that. Just to, they just want to get into the playoffs and just rock and roll there. Really, Carl saying that KD sold last week for two turns. So, so it looks like uh, you should have played to the whistle, Carl. Carl, you were all worried, and there were still like two or three boxes left. There's Westbrook to to ninety nine, and then Anthony Edwards, the rookies insert.
And that's for Frank and Minnesota. There's James Harden for the Nets, 55 out of 99. Triple J just got paid. Kevin Porter Jr. to 199 for the Rockets. That's for Oliver. And we got Jordan and Wara, rated rookie auto for the Bucks. That's going to be for Luis. Last spot mojo strikes again. Lakers win 65 to 70. Again, I love your optimism, Chris Lambros, but I've been watching the Lakers for a long time. I don't know if I don't know if this is the team that's going to win that much. I think Vegas is usually pretty on with their win totals. I mean, this guy's got us. I mean, that means you're saying Anthony Davis is completely healthy and is having a MVP type season and a defensive player of the win type season. LeBron turns back the clock. Melo turns back the clock. You know, a lot of guys would have to turn back the clock. It'd be nice. I wouldn't complain. Ooh, nice. Speaking of nice, rated rookie hollow. Anthony Edwards. This is this is a nice one here. Brian Frank won that spot, won that team in the filler. There's Lonnie Walker to 149, Lime Green. And Akira Lewis Jr. Signature series, last box. Autograph, Chad with the Pelicans. Won the Pelicans in the filler. If the Lakers are a 500 team after 20 games, will people be panicking? In LA, yeah, probably. And they may very well be 10 and 10 after 20 games. I think it's going to take a second or two for them to, to really gel together. It's Triple J again, 183 out of 199. Grizzlies, that's going to be for Robert. And JJ Redick, hollow at the end. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. That was the first half of that optic case. This uh, six box half case, Pick Your Team 15, 2020, 2021 Panini Donruss optic hoops. I always enjoy talking the hoops with you. That was a nice card right there. Chatting hoops, breaking hoops. It's a nice parallel. So thanks, everyone, for joining the action on jazbeescasebreaks.com. We can run this back. We've got plenty of other basketball on the site, too. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next Hoops Break. Bye-bye.